Hey guys, this is Effective Kill back for LA Noir for a second case, Armed and Dangerous, of Patrol. This case demonstrates the next mechanic in this game. As you can see by its name, this demo will demonstrate the shooting mechanic and the way of getting behind cover and not dying. This one you will be starting with a different gun. You won't be starting with your pistol exactly, you'll be starting with one of the guns. But I still have not yet figured out how you get this, how you can use this gun when you start, because, uh, I don't know, it's it's kind of confusing. Other than that, this is a uh, really, really short mission, just involved with various obvious things. The next mission after this uh, is a, is also just a short, the last mission, this is by far the one. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope, or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Get a hand, identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. As you can see, this is a bank robbing. Um, I'm not sure if there are any fewer cases about this. As I've said, I've only gotten through to uh, the first case in homicide, and I haven't completed it yet. But there, ha there are several street crimes that do involve robberies and such. You'll find them later, but I won't really cover them. So, let's have fun. Oh, I guess that's how you- I guess you can receive gun weapons from the trunk. Press B to reload. He targets and the Arbutin fires. Weapons on the ground now. Your move, Mister. First door, keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many. This is just a pretty standard part of the mission. The thing you may not notice is there is a guy hiding right there. LAPD. He will screw your ass up unless you catch him. Then there is a second guy. Right here. Third guy appears up there. See? Very easy mission. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. See? Just as fast. says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing the citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. By far, one of the shortest cases in this game is Armed and Dangerous, because it is just covering the shooting mechanic. The next case will cover um, more about suspects and chasing them down. So I'm sorry that this video was so short, but I'm trying to post them a day. Uh, you get the next one by tomorrow. Sorry about that, but it happens. Uh, see you guys later. Hey guys, this is Effective Kill with L.A. Noir, starting our third case in Patrol, Warrens Outstanding. And as I said before, I'm hoping that Take Two Games does not decide to. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I guess I have a lot of saves that I have to get rid of. So let me check. As you can see, I've gotten a homicide. That is the first murder. Try to not look into it that much. I do not know how to, uh, you know, get rid of stuff. So I'll replace that save game. Now I'm just replaying missions, and it creates a save. You can't actually load saves, I believe. The game hasn't really adequately explained that. It's not like GTN anyway. Anything that you do will autosave onto that same save file. So it does save a lot of stuff. Uh, the loading screens can be very long if you fail progressively at one part of a mission. But overall, it's a very, very fast game. The loading screens aren't as long as they would be. Uh, they're about as long as a, as a Portal 2 loading screen. Not that long. This case is also going to be very short, so... Sorry about that. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, one on way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. 
He's like Marty McFly. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. Quite true. In my case, you can add the war. Sorry, it's just readjusting my mic. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped for... So, how are you guys doing? Get after him, Belts! Oh, I'll shit. Huge cop. Okay. Here we see the first thing of chasing down a suspect. In the next case, it'll demonstrate a more productive way of chasing down a suspect. Uh, the game is weird with night and day. Every time that I've played this game, I've gotten played at night. And every day. Uh, I'm gonna show something, observe one. You're chasing a suspect that climbs a building. You gotta watch, you gotta stay behind him with the ladder, or he will hit you in the face with his foot. And if he does it twice, you will be kicked off the ladder. Ah, Okay, this is by far one of the annoying parts of the game. Because I get stuck doing this. Ah, come on! <laughs> Jesus! I don't know, I'm, I'm just so used to just moving the control stick instead of just going up. That I'm not used to that. Uh... He doesn't really go that far. Some criminal cases, like especially street cases, they will stop and wait for you, kind of like them mocking you, but in regular cases, if you lose the suspect, you have to restart that part of the case. It's kind of an annoying type thing, but it happens. Okay, where is the door? Here is the ladder. So I really made, didn't make it as good time as I should have when chasing this guy. It's over, Bowers! You missed the entire, really, pound, heart pounding scene. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Yeah, and he escaped, even though he was supposed to be right there. So I did, I did demonstrate one of the ways that you can fail missions is either dying or suspect getaways. There are fail conditions. Ah. Now, it kind of sucks that you can't use your gun in this scene. It'd be so a lot easier to just maybe shoot the guy's kneecap out and... Or just shoot him in the leg period and he wouldn't be able to fucking run. Power, hold it right there. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh. Jesus, I'm right here. Always keep on the keep on the run thing. Even though it doesn't look like you're running as fast, you will eventually try to catch up to the suspect. But things that baffle my mind are like this suspect. He's very he's very over Ah That's what I told you about. You get too close, he hits you. This suspect is not the thinnest of guys, and yet Phelps is very thin. Uh, how can he out how can he outrun me? I suppose it's adrenaline, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. No, no, that were the other prisoners that did screw you. I'm sorry about that, man. You shouldn't have dropped the soap. Right hook. Looks Jesus. Like Just clotheslined me. Sense. This is a grapple. Gotta be careful about this. <laughs> you don't want to kill this guy. Now if I do it right, I can throw this guy off the building. But I didn't do it right. Parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? 
And there we go. End of case three. Uh, the next case we'll be, we, we will be covering is case four, patrol case. Buyer beware. The uh, the very last patrol case, I believe, that you do. Yes, it is the last patrol case you do. This one will showcase the most great feature of this game, the interrogation. See you guys later, or in the next vid, whatever.